Hi everybody, today we're going to look at the zero exponent rule. The quotient rule for exponents taught us that x to the n over x to the m is equal to x to the n minus m. Given the same base, we know to subtract exponents. What we want to talk about today is what do we do in the case where the exponents are equal. For example, what if I had x to the 6 over x to the 6? The quotient rule tells us we should subtract 6 minus 6. But before we do that, let's think about x to the 6 over x to the 6. When we divide a term by itself, we know it's equal to 1. We also know that when we subtract 6 and 6, we get x to the 0. This shows us that x to the 0 is equivalent to 1. There is one exception to this rule. If x was equal to 0, we don't say 0 to the 0 is equal to 1. We say 0 to the 0 is undefined. But let's get back to our rule. Let's simplify 12x squared over 2x squared. To start, we'll divide 12 by 2, which gives us 6. Then we'll apply the quotient rule. That gives us x to the 2 minus 2. Now that we have 6 times x to the 0, we can evaluate x to the 0 to be equal to 1, so our final solution is 6. Let's try that again with 3x to the 4th times y to the 0. Hopefully we notice that y to the 0 is equal to 1. If I multiply 1 times 3x to the 4th, I just get 3x to the 4th. Finally, I want to remind you to be really careful with negatives. There's a big difference between expressions that have a parenthesis around the number and expressions that do not have a parenthesis around the given number. When I look at negative 9 to the 0, the first thing I want to do is apply the exponent. 9 to the 0 is equal to 1. I didn't use the negative yet. I need to hold on to the negative and write my answer as negative 1. I think of this as applying my order of operations. Order of operations says you do exponents before you do multiplication, which is really what that negative is telling us to do. When we look at parentheses negative 9 to the 0, the 0 applies to both the negative and the 9. This makes our final solution just equal to 1. So remember to always look for parentheses as you're applying exponents.